everyone, what's up? It's me, Keith Paris, aka Keith XPX. Paris MUA, everyone gay, best friend on the messy. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. But anyway, I'm back with a brand new video. I know it's been super long that I haven't filmed a video. If you guys are probably wondering, like, white background, lights, camera, like, looking like a real YouTuber set. Actually, I've been out of camera, but I haven't got, like, the equipment yet because I've just been busy with like school but I don't have school no more because I graduated so like literally I don't know what I'm doing so literally I just stepped up my I just stepped up my shit and then literally I just like said to myself like Keith be the YouTuber you want to be so that's what we're doing so literally I have sat down and filmed this makeup look for you guys literally this is like the same look I always do on Instagram for events and this is kind of like my Instagram like male like baddie video Instagram like baddie look so literally this is like what I wear 24 7 6 days a week 7 days a week like when I'm going on Tinder dates, grinder dates, what am I saying? I don't even go on dates. Like literally, this is what I wear 24-7 when I'm out in public, when I meet you guys, when I meet like, have meetings, like school, literally the basic. This is like literally what I wear and I can't stop staring myself at the behind. If you guys are new here, literally you guys should hit that subscribe button. I don't know what you guys are doing, splitting right here. My name skills is literally getting A1, so I can't not deny it. So like hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button too if you're new here. And also, what else? All my social media will be linked down below. My Instagram is floating right here. It's KittyBoy underscore. Literally, we got a lot of new editing stuff. So, I am on fire. And I really want this accent. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's going off to a good start. Also, too, if you guys want me to record any makeup looks, anything you want me to record, please link that down below link that down below please comment down below what um looks or anything you guys want me to record film i got you guys literally i'm like super excited to be starting to film to start filming for you guys literally i'm super excited and yeah i'm gonna start rambling so without further ado let's like get on with the video i guess i literally just did my brows too off camera i don't know if you guys can see i'll zoom in a little bit if i can but i just did my brows and also i just put a little lip balm on i got this at a beauty expo so this is the volumizing and smoothing rapid lip mask by herbal Dy dynamic beauty i'll leave this down below in the description and the description box below if you guys like want to try that um so next thing before i do anything i always orange correct my beard area and my mustache and like underneath my eyes or anything so literally i'm going to use the la girl orange corrector i don't know if you guys can And now that I'm done, I'm just blending that on my with my finger to just warm up the product and just like activate it. This is what I always do like for like, to make my makeup look like flawless and to get rid of any like five o'clock like shadow. Next, I'm going to take just a fluffy brush, and I'm going to take some setting powder. This is the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake, and this is in Coffee Cake. I'm literally just going to take that, take some of that, and just set my um, orange corrector that that's on my beard. The reason why I'm setting it is because I don't want it to mix in with my foundation, and I'm setting the orange corrector so it can do its job. So, like, that's a hack that I learned. I forgot where I learned this from, but... It works. Taking like a regular like fluffy brush. This is the Morphe G2. I'm just gonna like brush up any like excess powder that's like on my face. This is a CeraVe eye repair cream. I literally just got this on Amazon. It's literally the best and it's bomb. So I'm like gonna take that underneath my eye. Sorry if I'm looking weird guys. I'm still getting used to looking in the camera not like the viewfinder like being so like I don't know like vain or whatever. 
so literally taking some of that, like, my eye. I'm just literally just using my ring finger and just, like, putting that all, all over my eye. This literally changed my makeup game because, like, literally I just used to be, like, going over foundation and then concealer and then, like, you know, baking and stuff and I used to be creasing a lot and my bags used to be showing and I always, like, I use concealer but, like, never found a way, like, how to, like, get rid of my eyes. I even need a lot. So literally just like one or two swipes. I use my ring finger to blend that out. I'll be going in with that same powder. From the under eyes. Now that we kind of finished like the skin prep and like I orange crack and everything, I'm gonna go in with foundation. That's literally the next step I'm gonna do. So literally for foundation, I've been obsessed. This was my birthday foundation. I'm actually gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This is in the shade Chocolate Truffle 540G, if you guys are wondering. All the products I'm using, down, um, what I'm using in the video, guys, will be linked down below. It'll be linked down below in the description box and also will be on my Instagram, Avi. So literally, so I'll be taking the Huda Beauty foundation and then I'm going in with the, I'm using a foundation brush first. I'm gonna be using the Kiko Milano Dark Treasure foundation brush. It's like the newest, the new brush that they literally just came out with and it's bomb, literally. And the reason why I go in with like a brush first is because, um. I like an airbrush finish and I love to look like plastic, like, you know, because that's like literally my whole aesthetic. So I like to go in with a brush first and then like after when I'm done, I like to pounce everything with a beauty blender. Everyone been asking me online, like, does this like have like a smell? It actually has a nice I forgot to show you, I forgot to show everyone what I use for primer. So for primer, I use the Huda Beauty Make and Mac Primer. This is so good. It comes like in like a little squeezy tube. It was so cute. This one's really good. And then also too, what I use too, I use the Benefit Pore Professional on my nose area because I get oily. For concealer, I'm going to use the LA Girl Fawn. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade uh, Toffee. You guys, this concealer is like really, really good. Like, and literally, I'm taking like the concealer, literally like, on top. Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend like everything together. the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake um, Setting Powder. So this is in Coffee Cake, like I said. And I actually like using it with like her brush. I got her brush. So literally, sorry if you guys can't see that. I'm literally just gonna like dip in my like whole face with it. And if you guys like wondering, this doesn't like give you flashback or like anything.
but we're like baking and like I look crazy again but I'm telling you everything's gonna go together so um literally what I'm gonna use for contour I don't even know why I'm looking at this I use this 24 7 if you're an OG fan of me you know I use this to the day I die so literally I'm using the black radiance contour palette this is in the shade medium to deep I literally like it's almost like going pan I don't know if you guys can see I'm taking this on the Morphe M530. This is like a really like good brush, and I'm gonna talk about this brush. So like literally, I just love I, this brush is like the bomb.com. So I literally just take this like on my jaw, forehead, like be going in like out, just to like put everything else like more together. Um, so I'm gonna bake even more. So I'm gonna um, actually take like a wedge. This is like the same wedge I've been using like sophomore year in high school. It's so dirty. But like I'm just gonna take a wedge and just bake like where I contour. So just underneath my cheeks. So now I'm literally gonna take back that same brush from Huda Beauty. The um things for bacon sculpt whatever this is called and now I'm gonna take the fluffy side of that brush and then just like brush away all of that bake that um we did on our face I'm just really like thoroughly, thoroughly getting rid of like all of that like fake on my face. Even though I can see, that's okay. It's YouTube, so. Actually, what I like to do too, um, if you guys didn't know, the Huda Beauty foundation does like oxidize a little bit because like it's just you know gonna blend into your skin a little bit. And I found this trick so just everything will just blend in like so good together. I where is it? I found this trick. One of my good friends at um next, her name is Mal. She literally works at a professional and she told me about this product. So this is Now, like you have seen, now everything's like getting, bringing, like everything is coming together. We're getting more, like myself. So literally, now I'm just gonna brush off back again, but brush off that um, big from my contour. Literally the next thing that I do is literally just set my face before I put on highlight. I used to like, you know, do my makeup and then put on my and then put on my highlighter and then like I I don't know, like it felt so weird putting it on like like after when I set it on. I don't know because that literally how my makeup changed, like literally the way how I put on highlighter. And I just, just like take like the I used to use the right brushes but I used to just like glob it on but I found a way for me because I have oily skin. So literally I just take the Scandinavia Oil Control Setting Spray. This is literally like the bombest setting spray ever on the planet. This is literally so good. If you have oily skin, 
you need this. Like, literally, there's no ifs and but. If you want to wear makeup and you have oily skin, you need this right now. Like, literally. So, I, I'm not afraid of this. So, literally, I'm just going to spray this, like, all over my face. So, here goes nothing. Like... So I'm back. So literally, I'm gonna teach you guys like the like quickest way for me how I do eyeshadow. So literally, I'm gonna dive in to the Kylie Cosmetic a Burgundy Palette. Literally, this is my favorite palette. I got it at Beautycon LA. Shout out to Beautycon LA. Shout out to Kylie Cosmetic because you know she's like that girl. So I'm literally gonna dive into the transition shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm literally gonna dive into what is this called? It's called Beach. I'm literally gonna dive this in. Gonna be our transition shade for her eye. Guys, I do eyeshadow, but I just, I don't know, I just don't do, like, the, like, the dramatic, like, intricate looks. I could do those, but, like, I don't know, I just never challenge myself with makeup. But now that I got, like, on the camera, there's, like, no ifs and, no ifs and buts now. And I've been actually, <laughs> it's so weird, I've been actually, I'm more, like, the, like, natural glam, like, the Kendall glam, like, obviously, like, the reason why I'm doing this. But, like, I've been actually, like, into, like, how do I say I've been into, like, the dramatic, like, glam. Like, the, um, like, the cut creases. Like, the, all that dramatic, like, the whole, like, that whole fantasy look. And I've been, like, living for that. So, I'm, like, super excited to, like, try those looks. And I've been, like, really practicing. And I cannot wait to show that I'm in, like, film it for you guys. The first brush that I use, um... Literally was the Morphe R34. And literally I'm going to take now the R33. I'm going to dive into like this. The last shade. Like that chocolate shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to dip into it anyway. Sorry. Not, sorry. I'm going to dip into Almond. Obviously. And then literally. What I use like to warm up my eyes. And I'm taking this like above my crease. So. I don't know, just open my crease up and put this like all over too. Um, I actually forgot to put on brow gel, so like literally for brows today, I'm literally just gonna be, um, for brows, I use Anastasia the Definer and the last shade, the granite, I think how you call it, or black. And then I use the Benefit Cabral 2 in number 6, that's in black too, and I'm using the Benefit, um, this is called the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And they actually send this to me and a lot of the brow sets. So, Benefit, you had applied. Today, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty. What is this called? Bronze Sand Edition. I'm going to go in with. Literally, I've been using this non stop. I'm going to go in. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to go in in Aruba. And I'm going to use the Morphe M50 one brush so like literally dipping in and literally just gonna highlight my face I don't know if y'all can see that mm. Jesus And I'm literally just taking this like on my temple too. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see it. Like, mm. On the bottom of my chin. Bow. And then literally for nose highlight, what I use to highlight my nose, I've actually been obsessing with Fenty Beauty and Hustle Baby. I love you guys. Y'all can see that. Like, it's literally like a makeup break for me. Where I highly like 
10. For mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit um, Bad Gal Mascara. Literally, this um, actually like changed my last game too. Like, it's really like called like every lash. Like, see, this is precise. Like, fancy beauty gloss bomb and just like a glossing glossing like I just like to gloss like my lips normally so. And then also too, just because like I'm extra, like you guys already know this, I actually like using um, Kika Milano lip gloss in number 20. I'm sorry I keep holding it like, I don't know, I just want this AdSense, so yeah. And then taking this like, you know, the center. So guys, so I'm actually the next thing I'm just literally just gonna do, I'm gonna actually I'm not wearing this first, it's freaking hot. I'm gonna turn off my phone because I was blowing up the whole time it was recording. So I'm actually gonna um change. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna change look cute for once and this is actually the first time I look like really like bomb ass good. So I'm gonna change and then come back and just like say bye to you guys and just do you know all that YouTuber stuff. <laughs> I think that's it guys like literally like everything's like done. I'm highlighted for the gods. I'm like contour for the gods. I changed Everything will be linked down below where I got this sweater, this crop top, necklace, I don't even know. But Nefertiti, she's on my side. But guys, this is the end of the video. I'm so super happy how this look turned out. So this is like literally my everyday like Instagram baddie look. Minus the contacts, contacts, like I'm missing my contacts, like this is literally like, this was literally like the gag of all, and literally all of like the clips and intros from this, like it has contacts, so, ugh. I don't even know why I'm talking about my contacts, but guys, it's the end of the video, hope you guys like this video, if you guys like a lot of videos like this, me sitting down here, the whole like new like, the whole like this whole new setting, like who am I, like, James Charles who, Laura Lee who, I don't care, I'm starting trouble, I don't care, like I said, I said what I said. I'm here to shake up the beauty community, so I said it. Literally, so if you guys have any video ideas, anything you want me to record, anything you want me to talk about, anything, please comment down below. Now that I have this new camera, this new setup, literally, lights, production, like I'm a professional now, like literally, everything's so cool. And like, I'm so happy that I'm actually filming for you guys and just literally promote, like making content like I want to and just like, to like I'm turning you on and as I was saying literally just like being like doing all this for you guys literally everyone's starting college um literally like today and like right now as we speak all my friends they're finishing their first week of college and just experience college I'm actually not even going to college I'm actually going to be just going doing this full time and just like you know making it out there I still live in the hood I still live in Brooklyn so like literally like what's really like what's really like good um yeah, and like, I just so much stuff I had to talk about, so much stuff I had to put you guys on about, so much like, stuff I just want to air, it's just so much like, literally just literally like so much that i just been going through like these past few months, these past few weeks, like literally stuff I have to air out. I don't want to get like all sentimental, but last thing I'm going to say, all my social media is going to be linked down below, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, literally everything's going to be down below, my business email, I have a manager now actually no longer independent that, that that's the way I'm gonna talk about I actually have a manager now so like literally any business emails or anything any brands that's watching if you want to contact me literally my business emails will be linked down below and it's always linked in my Instagram too so literally yeah that's kind of like the end of the video so guys I love you guys so freaking much you guys already know this and you guys already know I'm gonna say don't forget to stay strong bye guys <laughs>